What's up y'all, it's your girl Melissa here and welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new here, I am a visual artist from Toronto and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along on a dope art exhibit that I went to, I think it was like last month now, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys the top five reasons why I think artists should go to other art exhibits. So if you're kind of like me and you're shy and you're introverted or you're just really busy working on your art or you don't see the importance of going to art exhibits. Stay tuned to see what I learned from this experience and why I think it can be important for your career as an artist. So like I mentioned a couple weeks ago, me and my friends went to the opening exhibit of one of our favorite artists in the city. We all got ready at my friend Mary's house and then drove downtown to the venue. What's up y'all? I'm here at Mary's house with all my friends. Yeah, so we got my sister Felicia, the twins, Liz and Mary's, Kanish, and we're all watching Beyonce, cause uh, why not? How far the milk? 15 minutes. All right, y'all, we are on our way to the gallery right now. It's actually in this really nice residential area downtown. So the artist's name is Benny Bing and his exhibit is called Colorblind and it features like these large beautiful portraits of black women. I've actually attended Benny Bing's exhibits last year I think um, and I actually met him in person for the first time at his exhibit last year. And this brings me to my number one reason of why artists should go to art exhibits and that is to support other artists in your community. The man of the hour. <laughs> hey! Nice you congratulations some artists like to see other artists as like their competition which might be true from like an economic perspective but in reality we're all people with the same interests the same drive the same values and in my opinion by supporting artists from your community it helps lift up that community as a whole and to me it's like if people are seeing the support that an artist is getting for doing their thing it'll be easier for the next artist to gain support for doing their thing and so on and so on and so on so that one day when you're ready to do your own thing it won't be hard for you to get that same support that the whole community has been getting because the community has been building and building and building from all the support, you know? So funny enough, as soon as we walked into the exhibit, Benny Bing was right there, and he actually remembered me from his previous show, which was cool. I've been good. Busy, trying to make it out here like you, trying to get my own show. That's right. We gotta talk about that. Yeah, we do. I can help probably in some way make sure that yeah? comes to True. We were talking about that. Last yeah, at the last time. show. I know. Here we are a year so, later. <laughs> so we walk in and the venue is like fully packed with tons of people and it was just such a dope vibe. Like you could just see everyone enjoying the artwork and enjoying the vibes and this kind of brings me into my second point. The number two reason to go to art exhibits is to network with other artists. And this kind of ties into the first point. Art shows are literally full of other artists and there's nothing like being in a room of people who all love the same thing you do, which is art. And I'm from Toronto and the funny thing about the Toronto community is that it's big, like there's a lot of people, but the community is small. It's like somehow everyone still knows each other. So that night I actually ran into a few artists that I know and it was a great opportunity to catch up with them, you know, see what they're doing, chat. What's up y'all? This is Corelson. Yeah, you the one and only the queen, the amazing Melissa Falcona. <laughs> Hopefully she's gonna be the next one having an exhibition just right here. You ready to hear first? <laughs> And I also got to meet artists that I've never met before. For example, Cardinal Official was at the event, which is super dope. If you guys don't know who Cardinal Official is, like, you need to get on it. I go by the name of Cardinal, and it is my absolute privilege to be in here today. I'm gonna talk about this gem, this treasure, this amazing, amazing, amazing gift that we all, that we all have. Hey, people in the back, it's a good story. 
<laughs> <Come on start. laughs> He's basically a famous rapper and producer from Toronto. He's had some big hits, okay? So he was there and we got to meet him, which wouldn't have happened if we weren't there. And that just goes to show you never know who will meet at these events and what opportunities that could lead to in the future. <laughs> So the third reason to go to art exhibits is to boost your creativity. Sometimes as artists, you know, you can get into the mood where like you don't feel like creating. There have been times when like I don't feel like painting, I haven't painted for weeks, you know, and going to these events is a great way to just boost that creativity, get the wheels turning because you're in such an artistic and creative environment. Seeing the amazing art that others are doing will motivate you to, you know, get back in the studio and get back to doing your own thing. But keep in mind though, although art exhibits are great for inspiration, that doesn't mean that you're gonna start copying all the work that you see at these exhibits. It's just a great way to get a boost to start, you know, developing your own ideas or working on the ideas you already had, you know? So Benny's event was actually a two-day event. The first night was the opening exhibit and then the second day he had an artist talk. So obviously I had to go to the artist talk too. About to go into the gallery again for the second event. I'm like an hour late right now, but Leo, my publicist, is inside. He said that they just started 15 minutes ago, so I'm not like super late, but I hope I didn't miss a lot. So I went alone this time, but I did meet up with Leo, and for you guys who don't know, Leo is my publicist. He couldn't make it to the opening exhibit, but I met up with him for the art talk. He said he controls the images, controls the scene. So what impact have you been on the platform? How are you uplifting? and this brings me to my fourth point which is that art exhibits are a great opportunity to learn from other artists. Like no one knows everything in this industry and for an artist like myself who has never had a solo exhibit or anything like that, I was eager to learn about Benny's journey and to gain knowledge that I could apply to my own art career. So at the talk, they even had a Q&A session and I had the opportunity to ask Benny my own questions, which was really dope. What's your name and your question? Okay. Um, my name is Melissa, and when you were creating this exhibit, Benny, um, did you have the whole idea conceptualized in your mind before you started? Like, did you know all the pieces that you wanted to create, or did you kind of go through them one at a time? And then, how did you know that it was like finished? It was system. When I finished this exhibit, um, I was satisfied. That was the end of this collection. I was like, this is it. And when I did that, I never posted on, on Instagram and social media. Because a lot of people who follow me through social media see all the work through them. And every time I do a new piece, I'll give them a little show of it. Uh, but this I never showed it because I was like, this is that the little sweet one, the, 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 the little um, treat for you guys to see that you've never seen. I've seen this on the somewhere, but you've never seen this one. Uh, is it on? Hello. What's up guys? Say hi to Leo. Leo here. <laughs> yeah, this part of the event, like the second day, so chill. Way more chill than the first day. It was way more like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Intimate. And like events like this, like a lot of the times I get really anxious, like nervous, like anxiety, like especially when it's smaller and you're more visible. Like I never know what to say to people. Like I'm leaving right now and I really want to say bye to Betty, but like I don't even know what to say. So I'm like in the bathroom trying to calm myself down. Like this is not even a big deal. Why do I feel like this? But like, yeah. These are just thoughts that go through my head. We are always scared to jump because we don't know whether or not we're going to fall or whether we're going to fly. The question is, you never really know. Until you jump. 
Hey. Yeah, I was just leaving. I just wanted to say bye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You know, you know, there's like one of my buddies. He hit me up. He's like, yo, this is a girl named Melissa. She's copying your style, bro. Are you serious? I was like, wait, who, who is this person? <laughs> and you sent me a picture. I'm like, do you know who that is? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Alright, that's my girl Melissa, man. Exactly. It's right? like, yeah. You have your own unique style, which I love. And I've seen you mm -hmm. in it. And I've seen from the moment we met at Liberty Village, I've just been watching this. And I Thank love you so your much. business sense and the way you're 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 learning and mm -hmm. you're growing and you're you're dominating. Thanks for coming out two days in a row. Of course. Hey, that literally was like not as bad as I thought. Yeah. See how like anxiety makes you overreact so much? I'm shook that he even said that to me. Like literally shook. I'm like, how does this guy have this whole exhibition and he feels that way about little old me with like zero exhibitions? <laughs> so last but not least, my final point for going to these art exhibits is just to have fun. <laughs> My friends and I literally had such a great time at this event. First of all, it was free, and that's always a plus, okay? They also had an open bar, and the best cheese and jam platter I have ever tasted in my life. Okay, wow. It's good. How does it compare to normal cheese? It's actually really good, and I don't even like cheese. Wow. <laughs> I need that cheese and jam platter back into my life. You know, I need to ask Benny where he got that hookup. Um, but no, seriously, like the vibes were amazing. We had so much fun in such a great environment, and it was definitely a night to remember. Like sometimes as artists, we can just get so caught up in our career and working and painting or you know, and we forget to just live life. And that's actually kind of been my motto recently, you know, like just live life. So if you're an artist or you love art, an art exhibit will always be a great time. Trust me, trust me. I will definitely be making it a habit of mine to go out to every art exhibit in my city and in my community as I can. And I hope you guys will too, because I think the benefits are amazing. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked the vlog. And if you have any questions or comments, I'd love if you leave them down below. And if you're not subscribed, like I don't know why. Like why, why are you missing out? You're doing it to yourself, you know? Just, just hit that red button right there and subscribe to this channel for more art videos. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Okay, peace. Oh, oh.